The new film, Old Boy, hits AMC theaters on November 27th. This past weekend, the film's writer and co-producer, Mark Protasevich, addressed the issues of many fans of the 2003 original Chan Wu Park version, saying this remake should never be made. Mark replied with the following. What Spike and I often talked about was the idea of cover versions. Like, I love Neil Young's Like a Hurricane, but Roxy Music does a great cover of it, and I'm happy that both these things exist. If you feel that way about it, that it shouldn't even exist, there's nothing I can say or we can do that is going to change that opinion, probably, because that's a very sort of fundamentalist belief. I just hope that perhaps there's a part of people who are open to the experience. Dennis, buy or sell these comments on the new old boy. Oh, I, I buy them. That doesn't mean that I think this remake of Old Boy is going to be good or not. That just means that his the way he's describing how remakes should be interpreted, I think, is a, a great analogy to, to cover songs of music. You know, you have the original. If you love the original, the set, and then the cover can be good, and you may like it. Maybe you might not like it as much, but you might still like it. Or it, you know, it could be a flop. But at least if you're open-minded about it you, and give it a chance, then maybe you might be surprised. Schnapp, what do you think? Yeah, I think it's a great way to describe uh, the remake process, especially when it's a, a foreign film being remade as an American film. I mean, we have a lot of the pros and cons that happen all the time when remakes happen. They either translate or they don't. You know, the more I've thought about it, the more previews and trailers I've seen for Old Boy. I think Josh Brolin's great. I'm excited to see what Spike Lee does. Maybe he's like re-energized back to his old school ways, you know. I think it's going to be a cool remake. A lot of people are saying, well, they can't do the ending. It's like, well, maybe they flipped it. You know, who knows? So I'm, I'm excited to see it, and I, I'm glad he put that out there. Because I've been, just yesterday, people were like, oh, that old boy, I was at a party, and people were, oh, that old boy's going to suck. And I was like, I don't think so. So, you know, it's a, I think you got to give it a chance. So. Yeah, I, I completely agree. I love these comments, and I love the analogy he brings up with comparing cover songs to re remaking movies. Because it's, it's, it still stuns me how many people I talk to, and you bring up, like, all along the Watchtower, and people actually think that's a Hendrix song. No, that was a remake in movie terms. Mm -hmm. Do you think, are you going to stand up and tell me that Jimi Hendrix never should have done his own recording of All, all Along the Watchtower? Of course he should have. We never would have had Battlestar Galactica if we didn't. I mean, but the, the same can be said about a lot of, a lot of different songs, right? Some of the, yeah. oh, what was that Johnny Cash cover that Cash did? I think it just... Uh, Trent Reznor's, yeah. Oh, yeah, Hurt. Yeah, yeah, Hurt. Hurt. Yeah. Like, are you going to look me in the eye and say, oh, Cash should have never touched that song? Come on, seriously? Are you going to say that you know uh, they, they never should have touched Scarface? They never should have remade. Really? It's one of the greatest films of all time, a lot of right. people consider it now. So, like, you guys have heard me say this before, but it, it holds true, and this goes with what he's saying. Remake anything, it doesn't matter. I mean, because if the new one sucks, who cares? If they remake Star Wars tomorrow, do you think I'm going to go home and my DVD of the original Star Wars is suddenly going to be scratched and corrupted because they did a remake? No, I'll still always have the remake. Who cares? So I I've never understood, ever, and I never will. All movies are subjective, but this isn't a subjective thing. This is, to me, I will never understand the logic between some people saying, oh, don't touch that movie. Why? Why? Why not? We might end up with a great movie, like we did with the th John Carpenter's The Thing was a remake. You know, we might end up with a great movie, and if it doesn't, who cares? We still got the original, so there's no downside whatsoever. I've never understood that logic. If you like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up, and don't forget to subscribe to AMC Movie News on YouTube. It's free and a great way to stay updated with all the latest movie news, and check out our daily show, AMC Movie Talk. Also, don't forget to check us out on Facebook and Twitter to stay in the loop for our special prizes, giveaways, and contests.